Environmental scientist Ho King Tung from the Open University of Hong Kong has been looking into ways to turn algae into energy. The process is simple, he says, and uses the intrinsic qualities of the plant. Some of the algae, they contain a very high content of oil, and that amount of fat if extracted, you can be you will be fine into very good uh, gasoline as well as the biodiesel, and that would be economically you know, very useful. For decades, scientists have been looking into biofuels, which use plants as an energy source, as a response to over-reliance on petroleum-based fuel. Despite the huge potential, there is some debate about the impact certain types of biofuel have on land and water resources. Algae is an attractive choice because it's easy to cultivate, it doesn't require much land and it can be grown in seawater without using agriculture and drinking water. Ho says the technology is solid, but it's not yet cost-effective. In the market, he says algae biofuel has to compete with traditional fuels like petroleum or natural gas, which are 30 to 40 percent cheaper. If we are able to couple those biofuel production with sewage treatment so that you know, the cost you know, of the production of biofuel can be recovered and be more attractive. Algae feeds on nitrogen and phosphorus, nutrients which are in excess and need to be removed from wastewater. In March, Ho says he will apply for a 1.3 million grant from the government for a pilot scheme at a water waste treatment plant in Hong Kong. Steve Choi is the executive director of Dynamic Progress International, one of the first companies in Hong Kong to commercialize biofuels. LG is a good idea, but it got a long way to go. How to increase the oil yield and also the, 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 the change the gene and also you have to you need the mass production to in order to cut down the, the, the cost. So in, initially the product is gonna be very very expensive. Who's gonna bear the cost? Dynamic Progress International has been making biodiesel from used cooking oil. At the moment, the company is testing energy-efficient stoves to be sold in the Hong Kong and Japanese market. Hong Kong is a financial sector, so it's easy to waste money. And Hong Kong is more transparent. But the, the problem is, it doesn't matter what you do, we need the support from the Hong Kong government. Not from the research, not just from the research, but the comprehensive program, i.e. funding, build up the reputation, test the product. With more than 200 million liters of fuel consumed every day, Choi says the Hong Kong government should be the one to test local biofuels in its day-to-day -day operations. Rebecca Valley, VOA News in Hong Kong.